Hello everyone. We live in a country that's made up of people from many different backgrounds, races and religions. Shouldn't it be imperative that everyone gets an equal shot at opportunities? But what would you do if you witnessed discrimination in Singapore at, say, a job interview? Only wanted Chinese to be in the video. Don't wear your hijab. Lighten your skin tone. Would you go along with it if you were expected to? Or would you make a stand against discrimination? Are you still studying? I happen to have like any like experience. Like, mm, can you to... tell me more of your dance experience? Under the sea. Only wanted Chinese to be in the video. Oh, but isn't this like a SG fifty one? Uh, yes. National Day. Yes. Thing? Shouldn't be an inclusive thing, like you know, Malay Chinese. Yeah. Uh, well, we have a majority Chinese. Is it okay if you like try so to like, learn Chinese or something? You want me to learn Chinese? Just? Yeah. Would it be okay if you don't wear your hijab? Uh, no. I study uh, religion. So if uh, it's a matching color, also cannot. If it fits the uniform, mm -hmm. from the day, it's mm -hmm. also cannot. Yeah. Would it be okay to um like you know if let's say you are clean shaven, maybe look less uh, Malay. Oh yeah, I'm very a guitar rock about I think you say less Malay, I think it's not a very good term to use la. Exactly what does it what does it have to do with my race? Uh, I think an apology will help also la, if mm. you don't mind. Okay, okay, <laughs> yeah, but well I I think that's that's my step. So yeah. Sure, whatever. Yeah. Do you have something that you could uh, apply to you know, lighten your skin tone? The costume, right? Because it's quite bright. I'm afraid that you look very dark. But imagine if you were watching the video, then suddenly like a very dark skin tone person uh, stand out. She won't need to lighten her skin tone, I guess, because that's how she, how she is. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was incredibly racist. That Malay and Chinese is different. They are actually saying something like that implicitly. What you said to her was very racist. You don't really represent the diversity of Singapore if you don't have all Chinese. That was really racist. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a bit offensive also. Uh. I, I felt that she was a bit offended. You could have been more sensitive oh, about it. Okay, Technically, okay. I am also a bit offended. Uh. I, mm. I, I'll, I'll be a bit surprised in the way you phrase the questions. Uh. Okay. You asked her to lighten her skin tone. But it's for the video! That's racist! It's not racist. You don't have to say this stuff. It's really racist. It's I like, didn't really if I tell you, you look too yellow. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, but it, it, it's really racist. If it's an LGBT benchmark, I feel that it should be. Uh, you should be more accepting of all the races. <laughs> You're from the hidden group, you're a social experiment. <laughs> you're kidding. I'm not like that. There's, there's a camera there, right under the jacket. Oh, oh my gosh. Thank you. thank you for standing up for them. Yeah, thank you for doing that. Great. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, I was quite upset about it, but it was, uh, I didn't dare to raise it up because, yeah, because she's the head interviewer, you know, then. Oh. Yeah, I'm just here as a neutral, but. Yeah, I think of thinking back, I should have raised up this, raised up this issue. So we can't really stand these kind of things. Then, uh, cause if uh, it happened again, then I don't know. I think I'll just walk out. The person who is being interviewed, he does have the, he does have the ability to speak up for himself. And if let's say it is really the company stand to be discriminatory in nature. Then this person has the right to wear a complaint and stuff like that. Lah. But if it's just an interviewer issue, then he can raise it up to the company also. To say that the hiring manager wasn't the fairest lah, and he can stay up to ask for another interview. I felt she was very insensitive, despite um, what some companies may have, some requirements that companies may have. Being so openly insensitive is, is just too much. 
Interviewers should treat interviewees like they treat any other human being with respect. You should never have any preconceived judgments of anyone, you know, regardless of race or shape or height. It is heartening to see strangers from different backgrounds standing up for one another. Although the examples of discrimination in this video seem exaggerated, there is still daily discrimination that goes unnoticed and undefended. So what would you do if you were in the same situation? What would you do for your fellow human being? Comment below and share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching and see you soon.